Hey guys, Lemon Sets here. Welcome. We are playing Sarah is Missing. Now, this is the game that inspired Simulacra to be Simulacra. And uh, I really, really, really enjoy the Simulacra. I, I believe it's actually made by the same people. Um, but uh, I really enjoy the Simulacra series. And so I was like, well, I need to play the game that created that series, you know? Even though it has nothing, to, well, I'm not really sure if it has nothing to do with it, but I'm pretty sure this is just a standalone game, and then they're like, we could do better, and then polished and upgraded to Simulacra. But I'm really excited to play this, so let's get into it. This is called Sarah is Missing. So I'm assuming that's Sarah, and uh, I'm assuming she's missing. But anyway, so, uh, so yeah, so, okay, what I see is I see messages, mail, gallery, music, phone, notes, and Iris. And we know from the other games, Iris is that crazy AI. Um, wow, okay, I got a lot of reading. Okay, so yeah, let's just start off with Iris. Welcome back, Sarah. This phone appears to be damaged, and you don't appear to be Sarah. Have we met? I'm not Sarah. Would you kindly return this property back to Sarah Young? You know where she is? Based on your response, I assume she is not with you. No. It seems that the last video she took implies that she is in danger. Would you like to watch it and help me verify? Yeah, sure. I hear footsteps. <laughs> okay, wow. So maybe she's getting stalked or something? Okay. This is the only file left at this moment. The rest of the content seems to be deleted or intentionally damaged. How much can you fix? It appears that only 14.3% of this device is operational. I think Sarah is in trouble. Yes, it would appear to be so. I am this mobile's person assistant. Intelligent, rec <laughs> Intelligent recognitive iconolatry system. That is a word. Iconolatry. Uh, Iris. It is in my best interest to locate her, and it would be in your good conscience to help me find her. Why do you want Why do you want to help find Sarah? She's my owner. I want to make sure she is safe. It is my prime directive. Hang on. You want? Yes, I want. We are wasting precious time here. Will you help me find Sarah? Yes. <laughs> Very enthusiastic, yes. Um I need to restore as much of the contents of this phone as I am able to. Please press the back button, then tap and hold anywhere on the home screen to proceed. I believe I can recover some of this phone's data. Would you like me to restore them now? Yes! <laughs> I'm starting the restore process now. Remember, you can tap and hold any part of the phone to ask me to help with anything. But if it's something out of my capabilities, I will let you know with a beep. Restoring app. Messages restored. Mail restored. Gallery restored. Music. Calls. Notes. Okay. As I calculated, only a minor portion of the phone's contents are available. Now, I think this is going to progress the story, so I'm going to not talk just yet here i'm gonna go look at all the other stuff but let's check out memos find sarah find clues in sarah's phone which might reveal where she is okay so that's my goal okay so memos is like the uh the goal okay so let's go into notes you know okay so it looks like okay let's see let's so let's start with eden eden there's no place i call home but it's warm in between your tone thighs like winter tigers listening to god whispering good night from nowhere static you loved me yesterday, but today, no. Today you loved yourself, and I, I loved yesterday. Okay? Wow. We live from notifications, oh, <laughs> from notification to notification. That's very true. Oh, man. Like, the amount of time people spend on social media, and, like, literally, they just count, like, like when you post, like, a photo, you're like, you know, you post a photo, but you don't post it to, to, to have a memory stored somewhere. You post it to see how many likes you can get, how many notifications you get. People are out there trying to break how many, like, you know, notification records, you know, and stuff like that. It's, uh, it's, yeah, so true, basically. And I giggled. And I didn't know that when I giggle, my ass giggles too. And I think about being spanked by his firm hand, and I giggle no more. I don't know why I started reading it like that. It's kind of got a little seductive, and a little, uh, you know... But anyway, okay, so it looks like she she likes to write poetry. Um, that's actually impressive. I was never good at English, and um, and so I was, you know, so those those type of things I'm just not good at, like forming words in a sentence, you know, on paper. I can't. I, I'm not too good at it. So like, I'm actually really impressed with uh, poets and writers and stuff. I'm like, because that's just the skill I'm not. I don't have, and I'm like, wow, you know, if I if I could do that, this would take my channel so much higher. I can tell you that much. 
But um, okay, so we'll go on the phone and see who she last called. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so Ayanami Aka. Derek, he's an asshole apparently. <laughs> mom, Alexis Liu, James Wang, mom, mom, Derek the asshole. Derek's the boyfriend from the poem. Uh, let's see. So Derek has to be. Uh, you love me yesterday, but today, no. Today, you love yourself, and I love yesterday. So I'm assuming that they were dating, maybe, and uh, she changed his name in her phone to asshole because he broke her heart. Uh, but he, okay, so what's this? April 30th, 2016. April 8th, 2016. April 30th. Okay, so something. So okay, what day am I on? It doesn't tell me. Just tell me 9:14 p.m. Uh, don't. I'm not gonna play that. Just know it's music. Um, I don't want to get copyright claimed, but it is carbon copy. The end is not. If you want to look that up for yourself. Okay. Uh, we'll go into the gallery. Bef failed to launch. Unfortunately, this has to stop. This app has stopped working. Please contact the developer. Okay. Mail. Oh man. Okay. Here we go. We'll start at the bottom. UHS. A reminder. Submission deadline for final assignment. Dear student, we are contacting you as a reminder to submit your final thesis. The final date of submission is 30th April, 5 p.m. Saturday. If you have already submitted your final assignment, kindly ignore this email. Okay, so... Okay, mm -hmm. Professor Hassan. Sorry, at email. <laughs> On the virus note, I was referring to the computer virus hidden in the 11th essay. That's not entirely true. The virus was was the essay. It was called Ghost. You brought up a good point. How would a person who was cybernized at an early age, like the major, develop properly? I would imagine they would have leave the pituitary gland untouched. Overall development in all areas of the human body and psyche would present a conundrum when cybernization is introduced into the equation. Oh, I should have read all this. Oh, man. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, Man, that's... uh. Okay, so basically, she had an issue. I'm, I'm, I'm just skimming this. So basically, um, she had an issue with... Uh, I don't even know. This might be her thesis. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't want to read all that. Okay. So party invite. Oh, happy days. Oh, happy days. From Kamar. Okay. We steal from the dead. Poet society wish you so. Yeah. So yeah, she's a poet. Happy birthday, Sarah. Uh, February fourteenth. Is Sarah's birthday, so she was born on Valentine's. Poem for my 43rd birthday. To end up alone in a tomb of a room without cigarettes or wine, just a light bulb in a pop belly, gray-haired and glad to have the room. It's by uh, Charles Bukowski. P.S. Do send us your latest work for cataloging purposes only. Okay. Um, alright. Buddy! It's chain mail. Hey Sarah, I'm forwarding this to you. It's from a friend. I think you should be careful. P.S. Rihanna loves whips and chains, but I doubt her ancestors felt the same way. Wow. Wow. Okay. There's a chain email going around, and I strongly advise you do not read it, and most importantly, do not open the attachment. It can come in any shape and form, but always with a particular video attachment. It is said that whoever watches the video will bring upon a bad omen. The sender will also encourage you to send the video to people you know. If you receive such content, please delete them from your phone. Only you can prevent the spread of malicious content on the web. Oh, no. Okay. And I'm assuming this is the chainmail? Or is the chainmail in here? No. Okay, so... Oh, mingles. Hey, Sarah underscore Y23. Seven days without love makes one week. Oh, I see what they did there. On Mingles, you've always have a choice. There are three people who are itching. So, okay, so she just gets out of a relationship in, like, literally one week. She's already on, like, uh, Mingles, you know. Uh, there are three people who are itching to be messaged by you. Okay, so mm. maybe we'll have to, like, go into her Mingles account and talk to some future people. Yeah, this is just, like, Simulacra 1 with the whole Tinder stuff and all that stuff. Or S Spark. Which uh, you'll know if you've seen my uh, Simulacra series. Uh, not the Pipe Dream one. That one's a little standalone. I'm talking about the actual Simulacra one. Um, so, K for coffee. Try our new carp carpet flavored coffee beans featuring Persian and Arabic carpets. What? Okay, we're going to go to G Jeebus. 
Hello, Sarah. It's your birthday. It's your birthday month. Celebrate your birthday with us. Two points off on your birthday. Okay. Book your appointment today. Jeeva shops here. Team. Our church also received. Okay. Um, Casket stays. Travel mm -hmm. Airbnb. Great start to your London in 2017. Oh, so, okay. Great days. Hello, Sarah. Thank you for extending your stay with uh, every b, b Here's your confirmation info. Extension four days. Room, large, single apartment. We hope it continuously serve you better. We hope you never check out. Okay. Great start to your London 2017 wish list. Show off your great taste. Save your favorites by tapping on it. Okay. So basically, she wanted to travel, maybe? Yeah, she was looking in the travel uh, to London in the uh, next the next year because this is all takes place in 2016. So, all right, so that's cool. So we're starting to learn a little bit about her. Um, I'll tell you what. Uh, I'm gonna cut right here real quick. I'm gonna read this email to myself, and if it's important or if I find information that's important to it, I will relay the message to you. But I'll be right back. Okay, guys, welcome back. Uh, yeah, so I, I just read this entire, you know, thing. And basically what they're talking about is they're they're watching either like a show or movie or they're reading a book or something. And they're kind of going off of how, um, uh, let me see if I can, yeah, cyberpunk elements and stuff like Like if you remove those things, uh, social theory. And basically what it all boils down to is cyber people or AI units uh, can be very similar to people, but people can't get viruses and what type of viruses could in infect those AIs and what would happen in those cases. It's pretty much what I'm getting from it. Now, I could be 100% wrong. I don't know. They're, 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 you know, this this stuff is, um, yeah, it's very complex and stuff, as you see, standalone complex. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and they're just kind of going back and forth about um, how people are people until we aren't people anymore. We have the same struggles if we don't, like, you know, like if we were to integrate ourselves into you know, a cyberpunk, we wouldn't have any, you know, like the no hormones, no testosterone, you know, stuff like that. And so this, the, the, the two sexes would be completely different, but maybe they'd be closer, but men wouldn't be the same. You know, they kind of get into like stuff like that. That's pretty much what they're going off of. Uh, the part that I think is important to get here is the virus and how it impacts the cyber and, um, uh, the themes from Stanley Carter, not catching the right or the left. Man. These books are really, okay. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, and they're kind of just going off stuff like that. So that could come into play later, the whole virus thing, because mm. as we know from, well, I'm not supposed to know, but as we know from Simulacra, mm. Iris isn't the best AI. So, okay. Mm. But anyway, yeah, so that is all of her email. And, mm. um, yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. Just like playing Simulacra 1, just like playing Simulacra Pipe Dream, playing this, I still get that that feeling where I'm, 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 um, invading on her privacy going through her phone. And that feeling has never gone away with, um, any of the, uh, you know, it's just, that feeling just never gone away with any game I play with in this style. And, uh, I, I kind of like that because it's like the game is able to give me that feeling, but at the same time, it, it just feels so wrong going through this phone and reading it, especially if I'm blasting it to YouTube. But, that's, that, that, that means the game's doing a great job, to be honest with you. But anyway, all right, so let's go into our messages. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go, again, we're going to start with the bottom, work our way up to new. Uni group, chat unavailable. Okay, so we'll talk with Faith. Mm -hmm. So this is on the 28th of April. Okay, actually, mm -hmm. I'm going to go back because when mm -hmm. was her... Um, mm -hmm. was it, yeah, when was her thing due? Because I'm trying to get like a... Uh, so she wanted to travel. Her birthday's February 14th. We know that. Um. Yeah, when did when did Hassan break up with her? Mm. So seven days ago, but what day? Does this have a day on it? Mm. No, it just has a time. Mm. Okay, so let's go into. Mm. Okay, so if we go to recents. Okay, so okay, so this was in between these days. So something happened on the sixteenth with Faith, or that's mm. when the conversation starts. Okay, and actually, I want to see if the, we can mm. call her voicemail. We cannot. Okay. Anyway, all right. Sorry, got a little distracted. All right, so let's go. All right, so what are you up to this weekend? Swamp or my work, actually. Why? I need a favor. You always need a favor. What's new? Hey, don't be mean. I really want to go to this gathering. You mean a party? <laughs> yeah. I'm not really up for it, but it's sort of your thing, too. 
What do you mean? It's Walpurganash. Isn't that the witch's feast? How is that my thing? You're the pagan. Hey, I follow you to church, all right? What's the big deal? Anyway, you're like into all these supernatural stuff too? Yeah, but I don't party with ghosts. I'm not going to fall for one of your coven initiations again, Faith. Ugh, that was a joke. Come on. Plus, these aren't real witches. I bet I'm the only real one around here. Just some guys playing coven. We all do it, you know. Halloween, hello. I don't know, Faith. Maybe not. Ask me again tomorrow or something. And then she just didn't. <laughs> she just didn't. Uh, I still don't know what day it is. Uh, oh, okay. It has to be past the 30th because I haven't got these calls yet. So she just didn't text me back. All right. So February 14th. Hi, Mom. Just want to check in. It's my birthday. Derek and I have decided to end things. Things were not working out. So, but I'm okay. You ended things off. Who the fuck ends relationships on Valentine's Day? You don't. Okay. You know, you know, okay. That's, that's sorry. That's going to ruin a lot of your Valentine's Day for the next like two years. But all right. But she says she's okay. I'm sorry to hear that, Sarah. But I've always known that Derek could never keep up with you. Best you ended things before it got too serious. What time is your flight back? I can have my driver pick you up from the airport. Right. Well, Mom, actually, don't panic. I, I've i decided to stay. Sarah, I, I, I don't understand. You just come out of a relationship and you're in a foreign land. Why would you want to stay? I need some time for myself, Mom. Being at home now, just, I, I can't. What do you mean you can't? You get on the plane and come home. Mom, no, I can't. I've canceled the flight tickets already anyway. Why in the world would you do something so stupid as that, Sarah? Mom, listen. Sarah, you come home this instant. Or intent, as she's put it. I will get my assistant to buy you a new ticket right now. Mom, no. I'm not coming home and that's final. At least not yet. I don't expect you to understand, but see when I get back, okay? Okay, so six days later. Hi, Mom. Just to let you know, I've touched down walking to immigration now. I thought you were supposed to arrive an hour ago. I got delayed. Sorry, I couldn't send you a text. I've got to go into a meeting now. The driver's waiting for you. Okay, see you soon. We'll be back late. I'll talk to you when I come home. Okay, next day. Sarah, I've scheduled for you to meet with the executive creative director of Lloyd Irving, the advertising agency, at noon tomorrow. Don't embarrass me. Mom, I I have a seminar to go to, and we, we've talked about this already. I'm not changing my major, and I'm certainly not going to be a copywriter. Mom, really, tomorrow's seminar is pretty important for my grades. I can't skip it even if I wanted to. You're really going to pick your silly research on ghosts of all things over possibly working in a top agency. I simply don't understand your fixation on ghosts, Sarah. I've let it go on for too long. I only want you to help. I only want to help you build a promising career, not throw it all away just to be a ghost hunter. Mom, first of all, stop calling it a ghost research or ghost anything. It's parapsychology. And secondly, I don't want to be a copywriter like you. It's just not what I want. And I hope you can understand that. Dad would have understand. You know, the only reason why you can go on and do all your nonsense is because I allow it. I'm trying to make sure you have a future, at the very least, a good paying job, or a job that pays anything. How are you going to pay the bills with this kind of career path? The only reason you could do this is because you're living under my roof and I'm paying for all of your expenses. You've lived a pretty comfortable life and spoilt one at that. Oh, damn. I've given you nothing but the best, and all I've asked from you is that you go for this one meeting and you shoot it down without even thinking about it. How ungrateful of you. And your father, he was a good man, rest his soul, but useless at living. He was a bum. I won't stand for it, and if you become like him. Oh. Okay, Mom. Okay. Going in for a meeting. I'll be home early today. You will have dinner at home. We will talk. We will take further on this. Okay. Wow. I mean, she means well. Just... She's um, definitely taking out her stress on her daughter. And I get it. She means well. She wants her to um, do something in life that will make her money. And, you know, honestly, I've had the same kind of... Not to this extent. But, I mean, like, like you know, like, you know, I wanted to, you know, pursuing this, right? Obviously, you know, it's slow to start making money off of. And you have those people that are like, you need to get a job now because this is not going to... You're not going to, you know, can't make money off this. And if you don't have money, you can't live. Um, but at the same time, is sometimes you got to start somewhere to get somewhere, you know, like you have to like start without any income on the subject, make sure you still have income coming in, of course, but, and then work hard and eventually it's, 
it'll take off and it's you'll succeed and it'll make you money and it's like she, even with the parapsychology she has a lot of like different things she could do with that i mean she wanted uh obviously she doesn't like calling it ghost stuff but yeah there's there's definitely a lot of things she could do with that like the supernatural stuff um you know uh you can make shows off of that you can make documentaries off of that i mean you can you can um you know whatever you want it, 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 it's it's limitless really um just you got to find that niche that you're good at and figure out a way to you can write books on it she's a poet i'm just saying like there's, there's definitely things she could do with that and her mom's not seeing that and her mom is being really rude too Whew, all right wow okay let's go up to uh derek oh i don't like that wow all mm-hmm. right valentine's day the day of the breakup oh looks like they already broke up okay hey um you you there what do you want uh, nothing i just I'm, ab- I'm about to board why should i care well that's one of the problems i know you, you barely care did you text me to tell that you're such an asshole look i didn't i didn't mean i, I definitely didn't want to hurt you i mean i wish things were different i don't want us to end i guess that's what i'm trying to say i don't know <sighs> I'm, I'm trying to tell you that this was not how I planned things to be. Things ended when you left. You left. You and you're planning enough plans. You plan and plan and plan, but you never do anything. All you do is run and work and use your work as an excuse to avoid conf- confronting the issue. I think you just described yourself. <laughs> I was about to say, like, I, she sounds like her mom right now. Um, why do you always do this and you keep blaming my work for our problems? Stop blaming shit on me. And these girls naked or no. Derek! I was I was I was with you for a second there, buddy. Oh uh, wait. Hold on it. Maybe he's like a a nude photographer or something. Okay. And you and you keep blaming my work for our problems. Stop blaming shit on me. And these girls naked or not, they are not our problems. It's me and you. And you're the one that keeps avoiding this shit. Shifting problems here and there. How about? I don't feel like listening to your shit right now. Haven't you done enough? No, you need to listen. I'm trying to tell you. No! I don't want to listen. I'm tired of your lies and shit. Baby, listen, please. If you have nothing else to say, then stop texting me. I'm done with you. Done. I cannot believe you decided to do this. Not that I fucking celebrate it, but it's Valentine's Day. I, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. I've never um ever seen Valentine's split with uh, the word fucking in the middle of it. That is, uh, hmm, that's new. Who the fuck leaves their girlfriend to fly back to another country to photograph nude women on Valen fucking Tynes? Jesus. And not have the balls to tell me about it? You lying piece of shit. Well, okay. So, okay, so... He should have pushed it back a day. And she should know that he photographs nude women if they're in a relationship. Like, this shouldn't, like, come out of nowhere. And I, I understand she's getting, she's having this jealousy f- from, you know, the new stuff, um, which is completely understandable. And, uh, but at the same time is they should have already, uh, you know, talked about this and agreed upon it. So it looks like they're definitely having communication issues. And yeah, he probably shouldn't have left on Valentine's Day to do that either. Um, and yeah, from this next line, yeah, um, yes, it is. <laughs> not telling you something is not the same as lying. I told you, it's the last minute gig. It's a fashion shoot, babe. Let's get that straight. You want to play technicality with me now? Are you fucking serious? Go away, Derek. Just go away. You're good at that. At least, that's one damn thing you're good at. Just go. No thanks to you. I don't even fucking know how to get back to our sh- chalet. Chalet? Oh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Our. Sorry, my mistake. It's my chalet now. Or chalet. I like chalet. I'm going to call it chalet. I have to figure this out. Bye, Derek. Have a nice fucking flight. Sarah, baby, I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you. You there? Hey, I'm I'm bored now. Take care. Sorry. Bye. Okay, so March 3rd. Hey, how are you? Been a while. Hey, baby, talk to me, please. I'm so sorry. I miss you. April 13th. What are you up to? 28th April. Sarah, talk to me, please. 30th April. Baby, I'm not your baby. Stop texting me. I need to move on. Okay, got it. Bye, Sarah. Damn. Whew. Okay, there's a lot to unpack there. But uh, yeah, we're going to kind of just progress the plot a little bit. 
Uh, wow, that was a. Uh, okay, all right. So that was two bad ones in a row. Uh, let's get into uh, let's go into Aya. What's going on, with Aya? What the hell is my sound? Okay. All right. Hey, bootylicious, you okay? Feeling like dumps? Come join me in some ABS at the club. Sorry, babe. Got assignment. Can't do it. Skip it, babes. They have abs like 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 abs like Tarzan. Sorry, you know I won't want to miss hanging out with you guys, but some other time. It's ladies' night, and besides, we've got ice cream. You need a break. Come on, mama. You know how them ice cream melts down abs. What's <laughs> up, so, women talk? Charles, you're okay. Come here. We're talking about sexy abs right now. Yeah, not for me, though. <laughs> Tempting, but I'm going to pass. Besides, I haven't gone clubbing in years. I don't really like ice cream, but hmm, chocolate lava brownies does sound so good. Celebrating freedom? You need a night out with me to forget all your troubles. I won't force you, though. I'll have one on your behalf. Thanks. I'll catch up with you some other time, and don't overdo it. Watch your calories. <laughs> betch, betch. <laughs> you know they love my love handles, them puppies, well, mama. I'm not even going to try to announce that emoji series. Okay, so yeah, okay, so that was, what day is this? April 27th, right? And so, okay, looks like something happened on the 30th because she's not responding to her at all on May 1st, but we're going to read it anyway. Hey, where have you been? Uh, why didn't you reply to me? I, I texted you last night. Uh, no, she didn't. No, she did not text her last night. Um, I heard you went out with Faith last night, bitch. Why didn't you call me? I'm always the last to know. What the fuck? Let's get coffee. I've got news. I, I met someone last night at the club, man. Those dimples. Sarah, you there? I tried to call you, but I can't get through. Call me, okay? Hey, Sarah, I'm I, I'm worried. You've, you've been MIA. You're not normally like this. So if she was with Faith on April 30th, but the last message I got from Faith was on April 28th, maybe I'm missing messages. Oh, that's, that could be a that could be possible. Um, but all right, let's go to Buddy. February right third. So, how was your trip? It was terrible. Oh, why was it terrible? <sighs> Derek broke up with me. I'm sorry to hear that. By the way, free this week, bro. Give her some time, man. No, I, I I'm pretty busy. Got my final thesis to deliver. What is it about? Do you really want to know, Buddy? Yeah, sure. I'm doing reasons on the relativity of ghost to culture and how it transcends from verbal tales handed down through the generations to a digital and cyberspace hauntings. By the way, are you into butt... D Dude, buddy! By the way, are you into butt stuff? I gotta go, buddy. And no, even if I am, you're not it. No problem. I'll poke you later. March 30th. Nice weather today. Uh, could be but Why did you respond to him? Could be better. Wind doesn't feel as nice as it was yesterday. Can I send you some pigs? I don't think so, buddy. I bet you'll like them. No, I don't think so. It's of my penis. Yeah. I figured. It's big. <laughs> I don't really care. Would you like to see it? No. Would you like to sit on it? No. Can I see you? Not at the moment. Can I see yours? I don't have a penis, buddy. I meant your tits. I bet you have nice tits. I do, actually. Can I see them? No. God, do I have to keep reading this? Bend over for me. No, thanks. Sorry, I'm just bored. I know, buddy. Go watch porn. Internet here is slow. Not my problem. Well, have fun there. Thanks, buddy. I don't know why I'm friends with you, really. Lucky me, huh? No. <laughs> hey, do you like tapes and CDs? Yeah, I've been... A why are you still met? Oh, 30th of April. Okay, this is important. Okay. So this is at 6.51 p.m. too. So we got to... Any messages on the 30th of April? Actually, I wanna, I'm want i going to come back to Buddy, but i got to start time-checking this stuff. All right, so yeah, she was 28th of April. Mom's last message was on 21st of February. Derek, also 30, so 11.52 up to 11.54. Okay. I, uh, it's the next day, but okay. Okay, actually, yeah, that's important. Next day. Okay, so at 1 a.m., Okay, so something happened between, well, whatever the next text message ends and 1 a.m. Okay. All right. Um, where was I? Um, uh, 
There we go. Hey, do you like to... Okay, 6.51 p.m. Hey, do you like tapes and CDs? Yeah, I've been a while since I have them, though. Good, because I'm going to tape my penis on your head, and you can see these nuts. Okay, buddy. That was actually funny. I wasn't really joking. And I'm out. Okay, buddy, dude. Just, first of all, just just stop. Second of all, prime suspect, buddy. 6.56 p.m. Okay, so between 6.56 and 1 a.m. She went missing. Uh, let's go up to Jill. Uh, he's so annoying. I'm so over him. I'm assuming she's talking about uh, David. David? Derek. Derek. Sorry. Wait. Uh, yeah. Forget him, Sarah. You're on your own now. We have our ups and downs. It's normal. Why don't you do something fun? Something crazy. I mean, you're doing it now. Your endless research on the paranormal. I don't know. I guess I guess you are right. You are the genius in our batch. <sighs> I'm, I'm so stupid. Yeah. You are sometimes, but go easy on yourself. You're just getting used to it. It's one thing to break up and another to move on. Can you do me a favor? What? Meet someone new. Go meet a crazy friend. Try a dating app. You never know. I don't know how to make friends. I already have one crazy friend. I don't, I, you know, I don't think I can handle another. If I meet someone interesting, I usually just buy them a drink and take them home. I'm not too sure about dating apps. Sometimes I can't tell if you are joking, but... Put yourself out there. Go have a conversation with someone at a cafe or something. A party might not be a bad idea. Have fun, please. I don't know. Just try. Okay, fine. Fine, I will. You'll be fine. Thanks, Jilly Beans. No problem. I'm here for you. If you need me, saving you has become my specialty. Very funny. You'll be all right. I know. Okay. Hey, have a safe flight. Good luck, and I hope you have. Uh, I hope you save lots of lives there. Thanks. I'll be back sooner than you think. We'll miss you. Don't run into zombies and stuff. Even if you do somehow, I think you'll find a cure for it. <laughs> I just might take care of you. So maybe they're all studying abroad, and um, you know, they met at school, and they're all flying back home for you know, end of the semester, school year, or something. I don't know. It is March, though. So. Yeah, I don't know. Um, all right, let's go to. So this is unavailable. So yeah, so the university group is unavailable, obviously. All right, but I I, just, I clicked it because I want to see if there's anything above it, but there's not. Okay, so we'll talk to James. Coffee, six o'clock. Uh, yeah, sure, but let's make it six thirty. Eighteen thirty, it is. Bring the stuff I gave you yesterday. Next time, bring your own research, okay? Don't be like that. I gotta go later, Jam. Oh, later's Jam. Oh, James, James, got it. Ha. Huh. Okay, so. I thought this was a date for a second, but uh, no, he just wants research. Uh, so they're cheating. Um, okay, so yes. All right, so I'm going to end the part here. Next part, we're going to start to, uh, you know, progress this. But now we're all caught up with all the, uh, everything in the phone right now. And we're going to kind of go off of, uh, we're going to progress and see what's going on. But uh, thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next part.